everybody welcome to my channel today I'm coming to you from my floor which is a little change something unusual that we don't always do but today I want to show you the basic set of instruments that you will need for your bench test and I'm saying basic set because you will always need more it depends on a school sometimes school asks for ask for weird things like endo access and wax carvings and all kinds of stuff that I'm not mentioning in this in this kit that I laid down for you. I know you can see everything, but that's just, I, there's so much I can do. These are the basics that you will definitely need for every prep, for every bench test in every school. So let's start with my favorite, favorite thing. And these are these loops that I got on Amazon for $40. Can you believe it? To buy loops for $40. And they were just great loops. These are good for bench test prep specifically because you don't want to buy your loops before you go to your dental school. By the way, everything I mentioned, I will, to my best abilities, link down below. If I don't link it, I couldn't find it, but check the description of this video. I will try my best to link everything. They look like this. These are the loops. They're customizable for your eyes over key. They're 3.5 magnification. They're not 3.5 magnification. Realistically, they're about two, but that's enough for you for your bench test. If you're still wondering, do I need loops? Do I not need loops? You do, especially in the University of Colorado where I mentioned that they look at your push posture when you prep. You want to sit as straight as possible and look as professional as possible. So loops help you do that. You don't have to crunch and like climb into your patient's mouth you can just wear loops and sit straight and see very well they also come with light this is the light it attaches over here and when you prep at home you don't have that overhead light so you need something with a light so you just don't fully break your eyes so when it, loops have light it's very convenient for your at home bench press bench prep bench test prep that's a mouthful anyway let me show you how this light works it comes with this uh, battery which is very convenient. It's very small and it works for about a day. If you work, if you prep for about a few hours a day, this will, you don't have to recharge it. I didn't charge it for like two, three days. If it's dead, it's dead. Oh, no, it's not. Here. So this is a pretty strong light. I love this light. I mean, I never needed anything more than this. So light works great with these. So I could not recommend them highly enough because I thought these were just so good. And I saw some of my classmates using them until like now they're still using them because they didn't buy loops these are not good replacement for loops in general like you cannot wear them during your dental school and during your practice they will ruin your eyes because the magnification is not correct the loops are not set custom for you and the glass is not a very good quality because it's 40 bucks but anyway this is a good purchase just for practice. Now let's move on to compressors because without a compressor you cannot drill. You need a drill, you need a compressor. This compressor over here is California Air Tools. This is the most recommended compressor. I read everything about it online and I bought it because it's the smallest and they say it's the quietest. It is not the quietest, trust me. So this was not the first thing I have purchased. Let me tell you kind of my story. So I come from Russia and we didn't really, most of the time when we prep teeth, which was not often, was on the desktops. And we used these little machines. This is the micromotor. And first I bought this micromotor because I knew that we used this in school. I found it on eBay. It's not popular. I have never heard anybody talk about it. But this was, this was $400. An attachment to it, which actually has the drill, was like $300. I'm not gonna lie about the prices. Check down below, I'll try my best to link it so you could actually see how much it costs. But this was a pricey set. This is just, this was not cheap. This was like $200, but this was just one thing you had to buy. And it works for high speed and it works for slow speed. This only works for high speed. You cannot use the slow speed with it. I bought this first, the small guy but it broke fast and I thought that the entire machine broke that is why I bought the compressor but turns out only the handpiece broke because they're not as strong as the air driven one because they run on a little motor inside of them they're not as strong and if you prep a lot they will break so make sure to buy the little spray that disinfects and smooth and uh, oils the hand pieces because you will need them they will the hand pieces will break fast I don't have it here, but I highly recommend you buy it. 
I broke a lot of these headpieces and they're quite expensive. But why I wanted to mention it, especially for moms out there, I cannot imagine how you can possibly practice for the bench test with this giant guy because it's so loud. And let me bring the camera closer so I can show it to you. Uh, it's quite a system. This is the entire machine that is compressor itself. And this is the, um, you know, the handpiece attachment that comes with it. You have to buy it separately. It comes with a water bottle, but I cannot imagine how you can possibly use water in the house. I have never used it. And it comes with a foot step and it comes with the attachment for the handpiece. Handpiece you have to buy separately. It does not come with a handpiece. But, you know, you can buy them pretty cheap on Amazon. I bought an expensive one, but they're like maybe 30 bucks for three. So I started buying them because I started breaking them a lot because if you don't oil them properly, they break. So what I was thinking with this compressor, like if you have kids, how could you possibly practice with this? Because just listen how it works. This is loud. Like they say it's quiet, it isn't quiet. This is loud. Plus the, plus the hand piece. This is loud. Like I will stop torturing you. But the thing is pretty loud. I cannot imagine how you can possibly practice with this at home if you have kids sleeping. This would not be feasible. This is why this little guy comes into play. And this is much quieter. Check this out. The only problem with this I had, it didn't have a foot step. So you kind of have to press this button for it to start working. And this is, this is the sound. That's it. There is no other noise. If you have kids sleeping, this would be your option. You cannot practice as well and as much as you practice with the big guy, but still this is pretty good. And to stop it, you have to also press the button, which is pretty annoying, but the hand pieces that come with it, it has light. But look at that, that has light. And it also, you can adjust the speed here. So you can work on, on this is one to one, so this is a slow speed and this is one to five, this is high speed and you can adjust the speed of drilling as well. So this is pretty convenient for people practicing with kids or people practicing in apartment complexes where neighbors will hate you. So I highly recommend this thing because it works just fine. Now that we're done with the micromotors and compressors, last thing that I wanted to mention about them, keep them. Do not throw them out when you're done with bench tests and when you're in school. These things were so helpful. Sometimes in the labs they tell you that the assignment is due in a week and you don't have to sit in the lab until nighttime when you try to complete the assignment. You can just bring it home, have dinner with your family. When they go to sleep you can just prep it or prep it on the weekend and you're done. And you don't have to spend so much time in the lab. And these were so helpful and everybody in my class was jealous because I was the only one who kept them and I could actually work at home. So if you buy them, keep them. Don't throw them out, don't sell them. They're a good investment and in your dental school they will last you a while.